Welcome back. It is 930. An estimated 10 million children have eczema in the U.S. and it might surprise you to hear it can be as debilitating as any chronic pain. Sometimes it's hard to tell if certain treatments are working or if the disease is worsening. That is where a new wearable sensor for children that keeps track of how often they scratch could make a difference. We are joined by Dr. Steve Zhu, Assistant Professor of Dermatology at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining me. I want to Thank talk about the me. severity of this condition because people think eczema, dermatitis, it's not that big of a deal, but explain how bad atopic dermatitis can be in children. It's horrible. It's a debilitating condition. It's certainly so much more than just itchy skin. Um, it affects sleep. I think people will be surprised to know that children with atopic dermatitis lose one night of sleep per week compared to their peers. And that makes it hard to focus in school and develop your brain. People will be surprised that individuals with atopic dermatitis, they're 36% more likely to attempt suicide, 44% wow. more likely to think about attempting suicide. Because itch is so debilitating as a condition, because it affects sleep, and, and some of us with children with eczema, me, myself, know that if a kiddo's not sleeping, you're not sleeping right. too. So it really does affect the whole family. It is heartbreaking. So tell me about this new wearable sensor. How does it work? And why is tracking how often someone itches important? So itch is one of the most common sort of sensory outputs that our body kind of lets you know, just like pain in terms of something that is going wrong. And so just like pain, it's, it's kind of hard to measure, right? It's somewhat subjective. And, you know, imagine asking a two and a half year old how itchy they are on a day to day basis. You're going to get different kind of outputs and results. So it's really important to be able to measure this key symptom, right? Which is the hallmark of atopic dermatitis, as well as many other conditions, not just skin conditions that can lead to itch so that we can identify how well we're doing with our treatments. We can help new drugs get developed more efficiently. Mm -hmm. We can uh, see if we need to change course in our treatment. And then in the future, what our hope is, is that by tracking this, we can actually identify you know, instances when the disease is getting worse before even the parent or the kiddo knows so we can intervene sooner. And this is so important because we didn't really have something like this before. And, and I found this interesting as I was doing the research that measuring itch is just as important as measuring a diabetic's glucose level, which is incredible to think because before we didn't have this, we had no idea how to, if, if the treatments were working, but this could be a game changer, right? Absolutely. We think that, you know, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it, right? And I think in the era of personalized medicine, evidence-based medicine, you know, we need to equip dermatologists like myself with actually objective, dependable data to guide our treatment decisions, right? Imagine trying to manage diabetes without blood glucose. Imagine mm -hmm. trying to measure hypertension without blood pressure. I think this is a good analogy for people to, right. to kind of understand. Okay, what do you want to say to parents who are at home watching that have been dealing with this? It's so hard. Where can they reach yeah. out if they want to be a part of this? So absolutely, you can reach out to me uh, on the website. Uh, my number's listed at Northwestern Medicine. Um, I think we're going to make this device available by the end of this year, you know, just to, to, to allow parents and physicians to be able to, to use this device to kind of guide decisions and making it affordable and accessible for all. So we think that this is just one tool. It's not the, you know, silver bullet, but it's going to be one important tool that hopefully will help us, you know, get this very, very debilitating condition under control. So many people are going to want to know about this. Dr. Steve Zhu with Northwestern University Feinberg School, Feinberg School of Medicine. Thank you. I really appreciate you joining me this morning. Thank you for having me, Sylvia.